Hello and good evening, this is Rutpasola from Kurval.com and today is time again for another DAX Fridays video. We are actually going to continue with how to join tables using DAX and uh, it is uh, time for the function called accept. I'm sorry I'm a bit late publishing this video but time just ran out of me today. Uh, but uh, let's begin, let's see how uh, accept works and how you can join tables using it. So in this series, we've actually gone through all types or some of the types of joins you can do. I have a video on how to do type uh, joins in Power Query. I will link on the description box if you're interested. This is a explanation of how that works. And uh, in these uh, latest DAX Fridays videos, we have been joining tables uh, using DAX. And uh, we've done exactly the same as we had in Power Query, like, you know, fuller outer, inner, right outer, left outer. So we've actually covered those like, with cross join, generate, generate, generate all, right outer join. So look for these videos. I will link them below also. If you want to do one of these inner joins, how to joins kind of matching. But the ones that we have left is actually the left anti and right anti. And I've also got that question on my um, uh, website uh, saying, okay, how, how do I do? How do I s do only uh, matching rows? Sorry, not matching rows, but left anti, what it does is you have table I and table B. Table I, A and table B are the same, the, the green lines here are the rows that are matching. And if you want a table that results on all the columns, all the rows from column A, from table A, that are not in table B, do you do a left ante? If you want to have all the rows from table B that are not in table A, then you do a right ante. And this is basically what we are missing uh, for finishing how to do joins, like simple joins in DAX. And to do that, we're, you're going to use uh, one of the ways is using accept. So um, let's jump into Power BI and let's go through how to do this. So I have actually used the same file for all types of joins. You have it here. I don't know if that's a good idea now that it's been populated. <laughs> Uh, there's uh, quite many things uh, here already, but let me know otherwise I can split it in different files. Um, I think this is quite a good reference in case you know you would like to know okay how to do this and that together with this guide, right? Because here it says the different joints and how you can do it. But let me know and we can find a good structure for this. Um, so yeah, what we want to have now is to have an anti-join. That means all the rows we have here actually two tables. We have the manufacturing product tables. So this is uh, a list with product names. In this case, it's bikes and uh, their product ID and the amount. And then we have a stock table. So this is which products that we have in stock. So what we want to know basically is which products we don't have in stock. So which ones of these products are not in stock? That means that the products that are matching from the stock table should be removed from here. Okay. So to do that, we're going to use a function called accept. Let's check it out. So the function accept is actually quite simple. You have a, of course the name of the function and then you have table one and table two so that doesn't seem so hard um, there are a few things you need to know um, let me show you instead of explaining it if we just take so we on the join except Error. And I'm going to write error because you're going to guess now what is going to happen. If I just write accept and then I put table one, which is our manufacturing products, and table two, which is our stock product, let's see what happens. 
it says each table argument except must have the same number of columns. Uh, so you see what the issue is, right? You have to tell this column with this column um, to be able to do an anti-join. And uh, to do that is not that difficult. So what we are going to do is, let's say start with um, anti-join except, right? So we are going to do this one, okay? And we write except, and now we need to tell them which uh, so which column um, we want from table manufacturing to join for a um, stock table. So we use the function select columns. I've already covered this, so just uh, go into the description box and check it out if you don't know how this works. But you need the table, you need a name for that column, and then you need to add the um, column that you actu actually want. Uh, manufacturing products ID, that's the one that we want. And then we need to pick also the right column from the stock table. So we pick the stock table, we pick the stock the name for that column, new column that we're creating, and then we just pick the stock column that we want. And once we've done that, we will get an anti-join. So these are the products that are not in stock. You won't find these products in the stock table, okay? So we've done a anti-join right. How do we do an anti-join left? I guess you've already guessed that. So anti join left, you do of course the accept, and now you just change the order of the uh, tables. So you put stock first, we call it stock ID, and then we have the stock ID in there, and then select columns, and then we put the manufacturing table. We call it ID, and then we put manufacturing ID. And that will give us a left join. So there will be products that are in stock. So here are just the products that are in stock. So I guess we can fill this up and write except. I think I'm going to write a blog post on this, uh, like as a summary thing, so you can use it as a guide. We will, of course, go through in more detail and do a little bit more advanced joins. I just need to have the time to put that uh, video together. But uh, I think this is a good idea for you to see how tables are joined in the, the, the lowest and the simplest level, and then we can just build on that. So. Hope is useful. This Excel file you will be able to download also, so don't worry about that. Um, so this is all. Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed this Tax Fridays video again. If you did, make sure you let me know by liking it. Uh, share it with people you think you would like to know. And if you're new to the channel, I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And Mondays are for Power Query normally, Fridays for um, Power BI tricks, tips and tricks, and then always Fridays for DAX. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. Click the bell to receive notifications when I publish new videos, otherwise you won't. And have a fantastic weekend. And sorry for being late. Uh, just as I said before, time just run up on me but uh, better late than never right have a great great vac uh, not vacation but weekend bye